What most often happens in the way station is a couple of stages. First stage is you must heal yourself back to your prime. You are responsible for your condition. And if you died because of cancer or congestive heart failure or tuberculosis or in a war or terrible car accident, whatever, you have to restore yourself to your perfection. And that's your first task. The second task you have is you must complete the emotional development that you did not complete when you were on earth. So you may have been a fabulous musician, highly skilled with some kind of instrument, and you were a jerk in terms of relationships or you were an idiot in terms of your relationship to money, you will then have to have some kind of experience, relationship experience, with uh, an individual that will, uh, that will convey to you the emotional development that you did not get on the earth. And you can't go any further until that's done. And, and then when that is done, then you go off to school to study and review the life you just had. And then you, and that takes a couple years of our time. And then you uh, go back to school for what we call higher learning. And you have to decide what's my next best step. So you have to pick a time and place. You have to find somebody who's going to be getting pregnant at that moment. You have to assemble your team. Um, let's say you're going to be born to some couple in, uh, I don't know, New Orleans. And, and they, you're making this deal with these people that are right there with you in the way station. So now you have to wait until the time and place that you targeted as the best spot for you to be imprinted with the energies that will develop your consciousness and maybe bring you up a level, a stage. And so you maybe that's 25 years down the road. So you wait 25 years, these people have to get born and then they have to grow up and then they have to find one another and then you are inserted into their, their new baby, their fetus. And, and, and then you're back, you come back. And it's, it's a very much a choice. You can back out right at the last minute. It's not advisable. Usually you have a lot of work that you do in putting your team together. Okay, you be the mother, you teach me this, you be the father, you teach me that, you, you be this way so that I have to uh, understand or learn to understand something about that. And, uh, Etc. So we assemble our team, and and that's how it goes. Then we're we're here, we're in it to the eyeballs at that point. So what goes up in the clouds <laughs> is a, a bunch of frequencies that constitute your consciousness. When those frequencies hang together, and that is the goal, to keep the consciousness from disintegrating or dissolving back into the energy soup. Um, so you, you leave and you go to the way station, you wake up on the other side in another body. What has created that body? You have. What kind of condition is it in? It's in whatever condition you left the last one. Why? Because the body is a reflection of what your frequencies are. And if you allow your frequency set to uh, disintegrate or to, um, let's, let's say it this way. Um, so we had in this world probably 25 years, maybe 50 years of 
of indoctrination that said, oh, you're gonna ha you can't have any fats because it's going to clog up your arteries and you are then going to have heart disease. And so you end up not eating any fats. And you don't have a heart disease, what do you get? You get Alzheimer's and dementia because the brain must have fats. The brain is 65% fats and oils. If you don't have the right complex of fats and oils, the brain is going to dry out and it's not, and it's going to disintegrate. And so you end up with dementia. Um, so now that, that consciousness is what you take to the other side. So when I say you wake up, you're in a body, the body is pretty often going to be almost an exact copy of what you just left behind and you're going to find yourself in a healing center and they're going to say to you, you need to heal yourself and they will bring you some medicine from time to time. That medicine is typically structured water, some very unusual water. That's it. The rest of it is rest, reflection, conversations with the, there'll be a healer who comes in and talks to you and who encourages you to think this way or to be aware of that or, or, or. And you do that and all of a sudden you're healing. And once you are fully back to your top condition, that you were at in this life, then you continue on and finish the life in whatever way it needs to be finished. So that's pretty much what happens most of the time. There's some other things that I have observed, but uh, we won't go into all of that. For those people who really work to, to um, increase their level of consciousness and and uh, feel that they've perhaps struggled and it was like a lot of work, you know, like it's not so easy to be here. That when the body dies here, you bring all that experience with you. It's not so that you have to start over in the next yep. life from scratch. You got it. You got it. And, and here's another thing. <laughs> and this may be, um, uh, there's a refinement potential that is sometimes implemented. Um, Let's say that there's certain parts of your experience you do not want in your next life. When you work with the beings who are going to imprint your consciousness in that fetus, certain frequencies can be deleted. So only a portion of your experience is brought forward. You can have the past life impact you, but it's not going to have the same power quite as the. Uh, full frequency set that produced that life. <laughs>